So to enter learn mode, simply go to the home screen and select edit. Once you select edit, you'll notice a little learning cap, a little college cap appeared for each of the devices. Click the head of the device that you want to learn commands for, and then select the button that you want to learn onto. So if you notice, it now gave me the option to either learn or cancel. Cancel will take me back to the previous screen. When learning, you want to take the original manufacturer's remote, and you want to make sure that you're in an environment with low light so that there's no interference, and you want to keep the manufacturer's remote about an inch away from the front of the IRB1 accessory. So once you have all this, we want to learn the stop command. So we want to make sure that we're over by the stop button because we have a limited amount of time to get this command in. We select learn here, the LEDs start flashing, and we do a very quick tap from the teaching remote. If the LEDs go solid green and then go out, you have a successful learn. If they blink red, then something was wrong and you'll need to relearn. At this point, I can go and test that function to see if that command works. If it does, I simply press done and then go on to the next command I need to learn. If not, I can go and enter learn mode again, do a quick tap of that button, test again, and now it works. And Now I select done. Now once I'm done over here and I'm done learning all the commands I need to learn, what I want to do is select home again and then select done to store those commands in. Now when I go back into my cable remote, the stop button is now working. So let's say we want to delete a device or rename a device. To do this, we simply go in from the home screen and select edit again. And if you notice, there's also a red X next to each one of these devices. Let's say I want to delete the TV that was at the hotel from last weekend. I can basically simply go over to that and click that red X It'll ask me if I really want to delete this device. I select delete and then device is gone. Selecting done will take me back to the main screen and then I can go back into any of my remotes and control my devices. But let's say I want to rename some of these remotes. Maybe I want to go in and for my home automation for my Lutron lights, those lights are just for the living room. So I want to put in living room lights. I select the middle of the icon and now I come up to a screen that has the name. Selecting that gets the name away and then I can go in and put whatever I want for that device. So I'll call that living room light and then select done. And now that comes up as the name. Again I hit done to go back to the main screen. Now something else that we have here is we can go into the setup menu. In the setup menu is where I can configure whether I want audible sounds every time I hit a button, whether I want vibration, whether I want both. There's also something called master volume. So I'm going to select that I want the key click, but I don't want vibrate. There's also something here called master volume. What master volume does is gives me the ability to have one master volume button that's going to appear on all of the remotes that I use. This would be intended for when you're using an AVR receiver and all of your components are going to be connected to that AVR receiver. So here we have a Denon AVR receiver so I'm going to put master volume and then I'm going to scroll to the receiver for the Denon and store that in. So now selecting done here I can be in my cable box but if I go to adjust the volume on the cable box, I'm really adjusting the volume on the AVR receiver. There's another nice function in here that I got control offers, and that's called volume swipe. So if I go to swipe volume here and select on and then select done, now instead of looking for those volume buttons, I can simply press and hold my finger on and then slide up or slide down to raise the volume up or down. Again, to raise the volume with swipe volume feature turned on, I simply find a blank area of the screen, press and hold my, button, my finger down, and slide up or slide down. So now we just programmed our whole home theater, all the devices that we have, plus the lights for the living room. Now if I wanted to stay in touch with IGI Corporation to see what else is going on, I can simply press the info button 
And then down at the bottom is a little link to the I Got It website. Simply click that link and that'll take you right to the I Got It website. And you can simply follow us either on Twitter, Facebook, on our blog page, or from email notifications. And now you've got control.